with uh, Trayvon Walker. All right, guys, we'll go straight to questions. Let's go to Chip Towers and then Anthony Dasher. What's up, Trayvon? How are you? Doing good. How are you? Good. Uh, just uh, wondering what your thoughts are on how the defense has played so far and how you expect that to translate uh, with South Carolina, obviously an SEC opponent coming to town. Is the, is the challenge even bigger than what you guys have faced so far? Uh, my thoughts on defense so far, uh, we're doing pretty good, we're playing some good ball right now, but as always, we can all, we always have things to improve on, and this upcoming week playing South Carolina, which is SEC East opponent, we just have to play to our expectation, just keep improving as a defense every week. Hey, Trayvon, good to see you. Another defensive question for you. To, uh, just how, how fun is it to, to play in this defense? I mean, you look at the, the sack numbers, you guys have 10, but eight different guys have contributed those stat, those sacks. I mean, wow. How fun is that to be a part of something like that? Uh, it's very fun uh, playing on the defense that's where you have a lot of guys that's playmakers because you always, like, you, you might not see yourself being in competition with the guys on your team, but, like, we always play around and joke around about, like, who's going to, do what this game, who's going to make what play or whatnot. So it just brings competition within the team, which I think why, why we're a great defense is everybody wanting to be great. Let's go to Mark Weiser and then Jake Rowe. Trayvon, you, you mentioned uh, joking around, playing around. The defense has outscored uh, the other team's offense so far in the first two games. I mean, uh, is that something that's been a locker room conversation or how much pride do you take in that? Uh, we really haven't talked about it too much, cause, but uh, that is something that we do take a lot of pride in because we always emphasize getting the ball on defense and putting up points on defense. As long as they don't score, then they don't win. And if we're putting up points on defense, that's just a positive. Help us contribute, contribute to the win. Sorry about that. Trayvon, uh, you know, we've talked to Kirby a couple times this week, and he talked, he's kind of talked about the run defense and how it wasn't the same this past week as it was the week before. Has that been an emphasis for you guys and kind of what, what maybe led to, to UAB doing a little bit more than you guys wanted them to do on the ground? Uh, well, UAB, they, their offense, they ran a lot of stretch, stretch and a lot of teams are probably going to try to do that on us, but that's something that we have put emphasis on, plan to run better, which is that's our expectation at the University of Georgia to play the run first anyway. So that's something that we're going to take account accountability in and just work, work on. Let's go to Connor and then Dean. Hey, Trayvon, I want to ask you a little bit about Jalen Walker. What does he bring to this defense, and what do you think makes him such a – Havoc wreaking player. You say Jalen Walker? Or Jalen Carter, excuse me. I combined your names there. My bad. It's all good. Uh Jalen, he's a he's a great young athlete. He's a young guy who has a lot of a lot of skill sets that he he's gonna he's gonna be a great player. Uh Jalen, he's one of those guys that's very strong, he's fast. So it's really he can do anything. And it's exciting to play beside him because he's a great playmaker. Hey, Trayvon, got two things for you. First of all, uh, Jalen's one of the few big men on defense who scored a touchdown. When is a guy on defense that's a big man going to sc score a touchdown? And then secondly, the last 10 seconds before the ball is snapped, can y'all hear what Kirby and Dan Lanning are saying to y'all? And is there a time when it gets to be sort of too late and the crowd is too loud to hear what's what they're communicating? Um. Sometimes the crowd does impact on, like, getting the call in. But, like, if you have the defensive guys relaying the call all the way across the field, then we're going to be in a good spot to where everybody knows the signals to the play or everybody's talking to get the play communicated. And what was your first question again? Sorry when is that. when is a big man going to score on defense? Y'all have had two pick sixes, not from – yeah, I see you starting to laugh here. When, when, when do y'all get to score on defense with big guys? Uh, in my opinion, I think we have to get the ball off of like the running backs and quarterbacks with strip sacks or just stripping the ball, period. And then our opportunity to be able to come from that or batted balls also. 
go to Palmer and then Davis. Yeah, Trayvon, listening to Shane Beamer today, he was really impressed with uh, Jordan Davis's rundown of the quarterback on Saturday. What was running through your head as, as you saw Jordan, uh, you know, kind of chasing him down? Um, going through my head, I've seen it many times at practice when Coach has him just covering down to the ball. But when I seen him in the game, I was like, oh, yeah, everybody's, everybody is about to be talking about this and see his true speed. Hey, Trayvon, we've heard uh, Kirby and a couple of the other defensive coaches use the term elite or not. I guess what makes you either elite or not on a certain play or a certain game? Uh, it's just the simple things like doing your job, getting takeaways, and being in the right spot at the right time can make you elite or not. All right, let's go to Jack Duffy from the Red and Black. Hey, Trayvon, uh, I just wanted to know, for you uh, practicing this week and preparing for South Carolina, what has been the biggest thing in your mind that the South Carolina offense presents uh, as a challenge to the defense this week? Uh, putting the ball on the perimeter. Like you all stated earlier this week, we, we didn't do too good against the run. And that's something that we're working to do this week. Stop the run more, less yards. All right, we've got a couple more minutes with Trayvon. If anybody has a follow-up question, just jump in. Trayvon, what kind of impact has, has Will Muschamp had on this defense from the time that he spent with y'all, uh, you know, going, even going back to the bowl game last year? Uh, coach Muschamp, he's a coach that's been around for a long time, coached a lot of defenses. He's also a guy that brings a lot of energy, like piggyback off of Coach Lannon and all the other coaches. He's one of those guys that's going to bring that juice. Trayvon and Steen, again, I wanted to ask a couple, one more thing about the uh, last few seconds before the, the snap. When y'all are talking, I mean, is it, is it amongst linemen or is it from the secondary forward to y'all? How, how do you know that you've got the right signal? Uh, for me personally, I'll get the signal myself. But, like, sometimes you'll have the cornerback closest to our side line relayed to the linebackers and the linebackers, linebackers relayed to the D linemen. And then we just keep relaying it across the field and behind us to the safeties. So everybody just putting a call, giving out the call, no matter how, if the TV copy sees it or not. How I'm sorry to ask one more question, but how short are the terms? I mean, is it two words or five words? Uh, it's not a lot, but it's signals that goes with the play. So that's something that we all take ownership in our job is to know the play calls. Trevon, are you, are you all finding any motivation from the 2019 uh, Gamecocks win in Athens, or have you guys moved past that? Uh, yeah, that is in the past, but that still lingers up in the after me because I was on the team at the time, and we don't want anything like that to happen again, so we're just going to go out there and play our best ball. Thanks. All right. Anybody else for Trayvon? Okay, Trayvon, thanks for your